Factsverse presents… Scientist accidentally finds a decades-old puzzle hidden in the rainforest. Humans have been exploring the world for thousands of years. We've explored everything from the ocean all the way to the moon. Although the age of exploration is over, there are still plenty that we just don't know about our own planet. Some of the mysteries are still waiting to be uncovered, others we may never figure out. Recently, a scientist accidentally found a decades-old puzzle hidden in the rainforest. Julian Bayliss is a conservationist who always dreamed of going on grand adventures. He loved to travel the world and see things that we've never witnessed. When he couldn't get out and have a great adventure on his own, he'd use Google Maps and daydream about the possibilities of what's out there. When he was scrolling through Google Maps one day, he noticed something that stopped him cold. He was looking at the top of Mount Liko in Mozambique, and he spotted something he did not expect to see. It was an entire rainforest. He was shocked because that rainforest wasn't on any map, and that led him to believe that nobody had ever been there. Judging by what he saw on the screen, Julian figured the rainforest had to be impenetrable. But that caused him to become a little excited because he might have a chance now to go where no man had ever gone before. Julian knew that if he was this excited about going to the rainforest, others would be as well. So he gathered a team of 28 people to go on an expedition. He invited scientists, doctors, rock climbers, and even a chef. He chose this particular group of people because they were the best at what they did. The group had to gain access to the base of the mountain through several villages. They had to negotiate with the locals and navigate some very rough terrain. Because there were no roads, they had to abandon their vehicles. Despite the fact that they had no idea what was ahead of them, they pressed on. When the team arrived at the base, they discovered that the mountain was a lot taller than expected. In fact, it was so tall they couldn't see the top. Mount Liko is over 400 feet, taller than two Leaning Tower of Pisa's combined. If they made one incorrect step, it could be fatal for them. One member of the group was Jules Lines, the most accomplished free soloist rock climber in the world. For him, the trip to the top took 11 minutes. The less experienced members of the group took two hours to get to the top. They were psychologically tested as well because they had no idea what horrific things might lay ahead. When the team reached the top of the peak, they were welcomed by thousands of butterflies that swarmed around them. On the surface, Liko appeared to be a beautiful place filled with life. Unfortunately, things were not as wondrous as they thought. As they moved further across the mountain, they discovered poisonous caterpillars. They were crawling into their shoes and their tents. They saw rats the size of cats with long tails and sharp, pointed teeth. They couldn't believe the number of spiders that were living on the mountain. There were thousands of them. Jonathan Timberlake, a botanist, felt a sharp sting on his leg. When he looked down, there was blood everywhere. He discovered that a sharp blade of grass had cut him. He knew that he couldn't get advanced medical care there, and he was hours away from a hospital, so he tried to calm himself down. Trying to stay calm, however, didn't help. The next day, his whole leg was burning. He felt weak. He had a fever. The team knew that he needed medical attention, so they strapped him into a harness and brought him down to the base camp. By the time he reached the bottom, he had a very high fever. He was also hallucinating. The doctor was worried and loaded him with antibiotics, trying to kill whatever infection Jonathan might be suffering from. Fortunately, he did make a full recovery, but he decided not to go back up and remained at base camp. While exploring the mountain, a scientist found a handmade pot. This made the team wonder who had been on the mountain. They asked the locals if they knew of anybody who'd ever tried climbing the mountain, and the elders admitted to hearing stories of a tribe of little people who used to live on the mountain. When locals tried to climb the mountain, though, the tribe would throw snakes at them. They also mentioned an incident where Portuguese soldiers tried to climb the mountain and the people of the tribe cut the rope, causing them to fall to their deaths. The elders told a story of German colonizers who forced a group of locals to move to the mountaintop. This was basically a death sentence. When the people got to the top, the Germans cut the ropes, leaving them with little food and no way home. The team originally thought they'd be exploring a place never seen by man, only to learn that there was a horrific story behind it. Subscribe for more!